All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be going through the main uh, different flags that were used by the major countries involved in World War II. Also, their secondary Navy flags, as well as just some other obscure things. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to be taking a look at hypothetical situations within countries. Like, what if America was fascist? What would their uh, national flag look like? Things like that. I find that stuff uh, very fascinating, but just you can take a look at the overall flags, kind of give you a zoomed out version of it going across the entire going across the entire world in World War II. But beginning with the United States, you did have the 48 star flag because at that point there were 48 states in the U.S. Personally, I love the unbalanced look when they added the two Alaska and Hawaii, and you made the flag unbalanced with you know all the little stars. The 48 is balanced. Balanced, but yeah, this is what the United States was flying during World War II in the late 30s, in the early 1940s, when they did their battles with Imperial Japan. The United States also did have a relatively obscure uh, VJ victory flag. Victory over Japan is what it was for, and you can see the V there with the dark blue in the background, almost like a dark navy blue there, and the V over top of it, and they flew that, obviously, after... Uh, defeating Japan. Moving on to Great Britain, you can see just their standard flag that they still have to this day. Kind of reminds me of Canada, Great Britain's flag, but it, it certainly is a nice flag, and that was their Navy flag. You can see only taking up the upper left quadrant, but that is what the Navy flew. Now moving on to France. Now obviously, Northern France was occupied by Germany. They just had the original flag there, and they also had a free French flag from 1940 to 1944. Kind of a little unique flag there as they fought uh, Germany in the early 1940s. They used that flag to kind of galvanize behind. Moving on to the Soviet Union, the USSR, so they had their standard flag, you can see, but I was able to find a few different deviations, and I kind of want to do a video on obscure country flags. Basically, it would be countries that only had, you know, a, a national flag for like one year or two years. The Soviet Union certainly fits into that. Look at their flag for one single year up in the top left, and then you can see they're almost going uh, kind of with the United States uh, in, in the kind of the upper left quadrant quadrant there from 1923 to 1924 and then they slightly had you know different variations of the same looking flag from 1924 all the way until their fall in the early 90s I will say I think they made a mistake making it smaller the symbol smaller I like it my favorite uh, Soviet flag here probably is the one from 36 to 55 because it still is not 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 a very big symbol uh, but I just think that one looks the best. The other ones look a little bit too small to me. This was the USSR Navy flag that was used during World War II. The Soviet Union's Navy really never gets discussed based on their location, but this was their flag, and I had never even seen this flag before doing this video, so kind of just something interesting there. Moving on to Germany, so obviously uh, you had the Nazi swastika, so Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party, they did not invent the swastika, but they are famous for turning the swastika, and that created their national flag. The Nazi swastika was not the original national flag when Hitler came into power. You can see the NSDAP party flag, which is centered perfectly, and then when they made it their national flag, in 1935, two years after Hitler took over, they adjusted it slightly and pushed it left. And normally when it comes to a flag, uh, the unbalanced flag is going to look better than the perfectly, you know, flag in the center. It's kind of weird how that works, but it is a, a, just something that I feel looks better. So I think the one that's slightly over, the swastika, looks a little bit better. And then they also did have a navy flag. You can see the iron cross included into this along with the four different stripes, the swastika standing off center there, and then Adolf Hitler had his own personal logo. You can see the Nazi eagles on all four sides, uh, two different variations of the Nazi eagle. And the Nazis did also have uh, other symbols to go along with their swastika. One of the more famous symbols they had was the perched up eagle kind of holding the swastika below there. And then you did have the Luftwaffe, have their own variation of the Nazi swastika there being kind of held up by the bird and those separate images. And then there also is the Iron Cross, which was utilized as kind of a secondary logo. It was on their Navy flag, 
There it is with the swastika. Uh, when it comes to Italy, they obviously had their main standard flag, but Mussolini also had his own unique flag, and that's what this is. I'm sure many people have never seen this flag before. It is very rare, but this was Mussolini's own unique flag. This was a rare variation of Italy's flag that was only used for two years from 1943 to 1945. This was considered their war flag. They added a dark eagle to it, but it was only used for two years, obviously, with Italy being part of the Axis losing and surrendering in 1945. And then moving on to Japan. So this was the Imperial Japan standard national flag. This is Japan's national flag still to this day. And then obviously you did have the Rising Sun flag, which was used by their Navy. Now the Rising Sun flag certainly is, I would say, more remembered for kind of being like a fascist symbol considering Japan was partnered with Nazi Germany. They were at war with the United States. They were considered one of the Axis. Some people really don't like the Rising Sun flag. They say it stands for fascism. I mean, it's a badass flag. There's no doubt about it. And they had two different variations of it. You had the one centered directly and then the one off-centered to the left. I think the one that's off-centered looks a little bit better. Uh, but they still, I mean, you can technically fly this flag in uh, Japan and it's it's no big deal. This is not like the Nazi swastika or anything like that. But some people still uh, do not like this flag for that type of imagery. And then another thing I wanted to look at, I found this on Reddit. You can see this is all the different major countries what their flags would look like if they were ruled by something else. You can see democratic, you can see communist. I'm going to say the uh, United States flag, when you look at the fascist, I don't think that's correct. I think the United States, if they became fascist, it, it, they would lean into the eagle look more and they would change their flag completely. But I just, you can see Britain, all the different ones there. Looks like a superhero logo for fascist. Uh, France as well. France is kind of boring. All of theirs are kind of boring. Russia has a swastika in the fascist. China's fascist uh, flag looks like Taiwan. And then you can see Germany. Uh, Germany, I mean, the Iron Cross was used. And then also Japan with the rising sun for fascist. And then there is Italy as well. Wow, they actually did use that Italy flag with the eagle uh, from 1943 to 1945, but that is just a, a little look back at all the flags from World War II, just talking about countries that changed their flag from World War II. The United States technically did change their flag, although it was very slightly, and it wasn't like it was due to some crazy regime change or anything like that, losing a war. Britain kept their exact same flag. France kept their exact same flag. Russia obviously changed in the early 90s. Germany obviously also changed. Japan kept their same flag. And Italy, unless you want to consider that eagle with the war flag, most people don't even know that existed. I I Italy kept their same flag as well. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.